Welcome to Reading the Bible with Pastor. Today we're on John chapter 4, starting at verse 46. So Jesus came to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. And at Capernaum there was an official whose son was ill. When this man heard that Jesus had come to Judea to Galilee, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. So Jesus said to him, Unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, Go, your son will live. The man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and went on his way. As he was going down, his servants met him and told him that his son was recovering. So he asked them the hour when he began to get better. And they said to him, Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. The father knew that was the hour when Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he himself believed in all his household. This was now the second sign that Jesus did when he had come from Judea to Galilee. Something to point out here is that the official believes the word of God, and when he hears that his son has, is, has been healed, and is recovering, he believes that this word of God, that it does its work. And we also believe in the word of God, that it brings us from death to life. We'll continue with chapter 5. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is, in Jerusalem, by the sheep gate, a pool in Aramaic called Bethesda, which has five roofed colonnades. And these lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been an invalid for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I am going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Go up. Take up your bed and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his bed and walked. The man is talking to Jesus about a tradition where it is said that angels stir up this water at Bethesda, and if they get into the water, they will be healed. But it's Jesus who says, by his word, get up, take up your bed and walk. And the man was healed. We'll continue on. Now that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been healed, It is the Sabbath, and is not lawful for you to take up your bed. But he answered them, The man who healed me, that man said to me, Take up your bed and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your bed and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn, as there was a crowd in the place. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you are well. Sin no more, that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had healed him. And this was why the Jews were persecuting Jesus, because he was doing these things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is working until now, and I am working. This was why the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him. Because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own father and making himself equal with God. Jesus' healing on the Sabbath is a mark of his new creation that he's given to us, a forgiveness of all things. Uh, We can also find that Jesus says that the Sabbath was made for man in Matthew 12, Mark chapter 2, and Luke chapter 6. The healing of the man is a mark of the healing of all things, the restoration of all things, and the rest we would have from sin on the last day in the new creation and new heaven. We'll continue next time with chapter 5, verse 19.